he is quite a smart appointment at Ten Hag, but it is a big leap because Ajax is a, is Ajax is a huge club, massive, what Jose Mourinho would call football heritage. But in terms of scale, mm. it's, a, it's a relatively sort of cosy, familiar place, Ajax, really. The, the, he will, will have been working with people he's known for a long time. The whole club is run by people who have lots of experience there. Manchester United is a, is a sort of... well, though. They play well. Oh, brilliant Ajax. football, yeah. But it's the twist. Ajax in the, he, in the he, 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 yeah. he said Seems it wasn't a risk, didn't he? It's an enormous risk for him. Why? Why? Why is it enormous risk? Uh, what reason? Because because it, it because can't get seen, any worse. We've, well, it, you know, we've all seen Manchester United play this season, and, and I think it's an excellent point you make, and I think it's very fair. But the fact of the matter is, is can he take over this squad of players and get so much out of them where they are going to push for a Champions League place with this current squad? They are not good enough to challenge for a Champions League place. They were pitiful yesterday. Once again, how many times had, this had season? Bad season. My, my, where did they finish last season? How, how's he, how's he going to turn things around? Exactly. There, there, is, there is story after story after story coming out from from the, the United camp about the attitude within the dressing room and 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 so many players downing tools and being disrespectful. Who, who are them how, players? Uh, who, who are them players? People saying... And they never come out and name these players because... But something's wrong, though, isn't it? Something's yeah, sure. amiss at the club. I, I, I agree so with how, you. So how's he going to change the culture? Do you, do, you, do you think this group of players are, are going to look at Ten Hag and respect him? I, I actually think they will because this is the lowest that Man United have been. So they're looking at it different. You know when you're, you, you're at a team, you finish second, the manager comes in and, and Ragnick, we had the conversation about Ragnick and, and it wouldn't be disrespectful for him. We just thought at Man United, it was going to be difficult for him because his best work had been done behind the scenes and that wasn't disrespectful for him. That was just honest. I think it'd be good that they'll have a style of play like Ajax had. These Man United players are just not bad players overnight. Something's happening and something's grumbling, but they need someone and a style of play. Once he gets what? that style of play, then he can bring in the players, get rid of all the dead wood, get rid of the, of the, the personalities that he doesn't want, and they can focus on the football. Like Rory said, they finish second. Is it, is it going to be that easy to get rid of the dead wood? Well, 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 well that's why I asked you, who, who are these players who are a dead wood or a bad eggs? Because Pogba's name like keeps getting brandished around in Man United. Well, he's gone, so they can no longer bring Pogba. Lingard's another one that gets name that uh, all he does is, is dance around. Well, well, he's he's gone now. So now we're going to see the real personalities of Man United. We had the conversation, me and you, about Ronaldo. And yes, individuals, but he still scores goals. If he puts him in the system, he will still score goals in the system. But it's up to the manager to take control, not the players anymore. How's he going to view the Ronaldo? So, so I'd take I'd keep, what you say about it. So, so how, how's he going to view him? But, but, but can he, you know, he, he has to... Look, short term, long term. So, is is Ronaldo the answer then for him? In the answer, in in, in, in what in, in the in the long term. If someone's just scored eighteen goals in the Premier League in a team that's not played that well, and you can play in a system to suit Ten Hag, not not Ronaldo, then yes, for now, because he scored eighteen goals, he said, of course. But if he's not hitting that level or not doing what the manager wants. Then, then no, and it's not about Ronaldo, or it's not about any player. It's about the manager, and it's what's best for the team. And oh. unfortunately, this season, it's been about the players and not been about the manager. And one final thing on him is he doesn't have one set way of playing, and he has adapted his Ajax system over the years to the players that he has at his disposal. So it's not like he's going to come in and go, this is how I play fit into it, he'll fit a system to the players if you follow what he's done at Ajax. I think there'll be certain precepts that, that kind of he builds around. But yeah, like the, that first Ajax team that you, you'll have seen in the Champions League in 2019, wow. that didn't have a Sebastian Allaire up front. That wasn't the way that team worked at all. And then he, they sign Allaire and they turn they they tweak it. Ten Hag is, he, he isn't going to come in, I don't think, with a kind of, this is exactly what we have to do and I need these players to fit. He is more adaptable than that. In terms of the current squads, half of them are leaving. Just half them are out of contract. So the, the, what we'll see with United this summer, I think is pretty much unprecedented for a major team that they can kind of almost build from nothing. And it'll be expensive, but it'll, it, it might be the reset they need.